You have to understand that Robin meant everything to Robert. And, you know, when I told him, it was... I don't know, he's, he's really... He's really angry. And I, I, I sort of had this feeling that he might do something. Do you know what I mean? Um, and then he left, and I wanted to go after him, but I couldn't leave Emma, obviously. Okay. So. You should go. You should... You should be with Robert. She would want you guys to be together. Patrick, listen to me. There's a little girl in the other room and she keeps asking where her mother is. We can't put this off anymore. I don't... You know, you're gonna have to just explain to her. I know. Her I mom gotta, is not coming back. Okay? I gotta tell her, yes, I know. Okay. I'll do it. Well, you don't have to do it alone. No, I, I kind of do because I am alone, and that's that's not a choice. That's a fact. I always thought marriage was for other people. <laughs> people that weren't having as much fun as I was. Yeah. And then I met that little firecracker, and she she changed my world. She had a knack for doing that. She certainly did that to Robert and me. Boy, she would challenge me. She's so smart. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. She didn't like me at first. She thought I was a player. Oh, really? I wonder how she got that impression. <laughs> but she could see right through me. She always called me on my crap. Yeah, she always had done that. Even when she was a little girl, if uh, Robert and I were like trying to hide something from her or something, you know, she would just catch us on it and she had no problem speaking her mind. None. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know that. <laughs> yeah, she made me want to be a better person, a better man. You know, I wanted to I'd work harder for her, mm. be worthy. Yeah. To prove that she was right to love me. Well, you know she loved you. She loved you very much. Yeah. <laughs> she used to tell me. Ah. Oh, God. She used to tell me that all the time. All the time. How much she loved you. Um. You know, you're a great father. And Emma is really gonna need that now. I don't know if I can be the father that Emma needs. I, oh, come on. I just, I don't know if, I don't know how much of me is gone now. Nothing's gone. Well, of course, everything's gone. But, Robin had so much faith in you that you need to start having that faith in yourself. <sighs> Shall I go and get Emma? You? No. I'll do it. You should, you should. You should go be with Robert. How do I have this conversation? Try and say the right things. I'll tell her that you're in heaven. And then of course, she's gonna wanna know what heaven's like and when you're gonna be back. I can't believe this is happening. I can't, I can't believe that I have to explain the concept of death to our little girl. I gotta help her go on without you and I don't know if I can do that. Your mom says that I have to have faith in myself. That I'm, that I'm gonna be okay but I don't know Robin. I don't know. 
don't know if I can do this without you. I don't know if I can do this alone. Come in. and told me and I just don't I can't believe this is all happening <laughs> yeah, for a second there when there was a knock at the door you uh, I don't know I thought maybe it was going to be Robin this is all just a nightmare you know I know it doesn't make any sense She worked really hard on Jason's protocol. It worked. The protocol worked? Yeah, I just finished the procedure and it looks like Jason's gonna pull through as he always does. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna have a long, happy life. But Robin won't. Neither will Emma and I. When Robin thought her meds were failing her, she asked me to look after you and Emma. I promised her I would. I'm not gonna break that promise. <sighs> I gotta go tell Emma. <sighs> physically get up. You need to think about that little girl waiting for you. I know. And how much she needs you. I know. I know. Hi. Is mommy home? <sighs> Come here. Oh my gosh, you are getting so big. <sighs> I have to tell you something. Very important. Okay, daddy. There was an accident at the hospital, and mommy got hurt. Does she need a band-aid? She can have one of mine with the princesses. <laughs> Hi, sweet girl. Do you remember when Cameron got that fish for his birthday. Yeah. Do you remember the one he named Tiger? Well, one day, Tiger didn't feel like swimming around his bowl anymore. He got kind of sick, so we had to take him to the doctor. But the doctor said that they couldn't do anything for him. So we had to let Tiger go to heaven. And that's where Mommy is right now. When is she coming back? Wow. Well, maybe she's, she's not going to come back. She's up there with the angels. She's going to be protecting you for the rest of your life, watching over you. She is always, always going to love you. No matter what. Okay? Okay. 